I was away when I was there, also taking my own treatment abroad. I had the death of our beloved father, Raymond of Mercy. I was speechless because this is a man that is always there. For we Nigerian women, especially during our time, 2015, when my husband was the president of this country and I was the first lady of this country, when I was campaigning for women for 35% affirmative action, Raymond Dupesi was one of the champion that is always there for me and for the Nigerian women. And now is the time the Nigerian woman needs him more again. And we lost him. Well, we are speechless, we Nigerian women. We have lost a great man, a philanthropist, an intelligent man, a man that we believe in. A man that can say, I will follow you, and he will follow you to the end. We have lost him. Well, that is a necessary end that all of us one day we will pay our respects to meet him there. But only the time we don't know, the hour we don't know, the year we don't know, but it will knock everyone's door one by one when the time comes. But I believe one day we will meet there and part no more. So the family, especially to Raymond Dupesi Jr. and to the members of the family, 
always keep AIT flag flying. That is his dream. Don't let his dream come down. Always be there for him. And he trusts you. And he believed in you. He believed in your family. Always, he's a man of peace. He's a man that told peace. Make sure you unite the family. And you also told his line of peace. And make sure his dream comes true and ever remain. Keep the fly of AIT flying. And I am assuring you, anytime you need me, I will be there for you. Once more, may his soul rest in perfect peace. May God bless us all. Thank you. Well, Your Excellency, thank you on behalf of the entire Doug Percy family, on behalf of Dark Communications PLC, on behalf of everyone who knew High Chief, who has been here with us over the past couple of days, to sympathize and commiserate with us. I know you had a very special and close relationship with High Chief because of how he always spoke about you and spoke about the things that he thought that needed to be done. Um, he held you in very high esteem, always. And uh, it's, it's pleasing to note, I was not in town when I caught the news. I was actually driving in from Kaduna and uh, your husband was the first person who had come to pay condolence visits and was already waiting mm -hmm. by the time I came in um, from Kaduna, so our heartfelt, most sincere appreciation goes out to you and your husband for thinking about us, for being here for us, for remembering us at this very difficult time. Certainly, um, over the next couple of days and weeks ahead, uh, things are happening very quickly. We need to put in place the necessary funeral requirements and everything and then take on the bigger responsibility of filling the void that Ezomo has left behind. Certainly, the shoes are very big. They are bigger than my own feet can size. But uh, with God's grace and the support of well-meaning friends, I am sure that even if we do not do 100% of what Ezomo does, we should be able to get to something that he will be proud of us. So thank you once more for, uh, for coming down, for coming with uh, this entourage of women for recognizing and for supporting his contributions to women in Nigeria. Um, it's a legacy which we hope to be able to continue and discharge uh, to, the, to his own very best satisfaction. Thank you once very much. Thank you. Maybe we can say a short prayer and then go and sign the condolences. Oh, I see you.